Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, a board-certified urologist slash men's health expert. And today we're going to talk about a topic that doesn't get nearly enough attention, hydration and sexual health, specifically how drinking water the right way can significantly improve erections, especially for men over 50. A lot of men believe that their difficulties in the bedroom come only from hormones or age, but one of the most overlooked factors is actually dehydrate. Water plays a vital role in blood circulation, hormone balance, energy, and even the way your brain processes arousal signals. By understanding how to drink water strategically, you can make a real difference in your sexual performance and overall health. Let's break this down into five key points. When we think about erections, most men focus on testosterone or nerves, but the truth is erections are primarily about blood flow. The, the penis fills with blood when the blood vessels open up and allow circulation to increase. And this process is highly dependent on hydration. When your body is dehydrated, your blood becomes thicker and more viscous, meaning it doesn't flow as easily through the arteries. This includes the delicate blood vessels in the penis, which are already smaller and more prone to narrow compared to larger vessels like those in the heart. And men over 50 are at an even higher risk because the natural flexibility of arteries decreases with age and conditions like high blood pressure or diabetes can compound circulation problems. By staying properly hydrated, you keep your blood volume stable and prevent unnecessary strain on the heart, making it easier for blood to be pumped throughout the body. This ensures that when arousal happens, the penis can quickly fill with blood and maintain rigidity. Drinking water also supports nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide is the molecule that tells your blood vessels to relax and dilate, which is the key step for an erection to occur. Without enough hydration, nitric oxide signaling becomes less effective, and that means weaker or shorter erections. Another point often overlooked is that dehydration raises cortisol levels, the stress hormone that competes with testosterone. Elevated cortisol can restrict blood flow and reduce sexual desire, creating a double challenge for men who are already facing age changes. The way you drink water matters. Chugging large amounts at once doesn't support consistent blood flow because your kidneys will just flush most of it out. Instead, sipping smaller amounts of water throughout the day helps maintain stable hydration levels. This ensures that your body always has enough fluid to maintain optimal blood circulation, which in turn keeps erections stronger and more reliable. So if you notice that you often feel tired, dizzy, or lightheaded, it could be an early sign of dehydration that's also affecting your sexual health. Hormones are the chemical messengers that regulate everything from mood to metabolism to sexual function. Testosterone, in particular, plays a central role in erections, libido, and overall vitality in men over 50. What many people don't realize is that hydration status directly impacts hormone balance. When you're dehydrated, your body goes into a stress state. This triggers the release of cortisol, which not only raises blood pressure, but also suppresses testosterone production. Lower testosterone translates into weaker erections, lower libido, and slower recovery after sexual activity. Water is also critical for kidney and liver function, two organs that play an essential role in hormone metabolism. Your liver helps regulate sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG, which controls how much free testosterone is available in your body. Without enough hydration, the liver doesn't work efficiently, and that can throw your hormone levels off balance. Similarly, the kidneys regulate electrolytes and blood pressure, both of which are closely tied to sexual function. A poorly hydrated body strains the kidneys, creating imbalances that ripple into the hormonal system. For men over 50, hydration becomes even more important because natural testosterone levels are already on the decline. Every small advantage counts, and water provides one of the easiest, most natural ways to support your hormonal environment. Drinking water before meals, for example, has been shown to regulate insulin response. This matters because insulin resistance and blood sugar spikes are linked to lower testosterone levels and erectile dysfunction. Staying hydrated reduces these swings, keeping hormones more stable throughout the day. In addition, hydration influences the brain's ability to release neurotransmitters like dopamine and oxytocin, which are linked to arousal and intimacy. Even mild dehydration can affect mood, concentration, and stress tolerance, all factors that either enhance or hinder sexual performance. Men often underestimate the psychological side of erections, but if you're stressed, tired, or distracted, even a healthy body may not respond as you want it to. Proper hydration reduces fatigue and supports mental clarity, making it easier to focus on the experience rather than worrying about performance. 
takeaway here is that water isn't just about quenching thirst. It's about creating the right environment for your hormones and neurotransmitters to function optimally. Without this foundation, medication supplements or lifestyle changes won't have their full effect. Hydration sets the stage for testosterone to work, for blood flow to improve, and for your brain to remain engaged in sexual activity. The timing of hydration plays a bigger role in sexual performance than most men realize. It's not only about how much water you drink, but also when you drink it and how that timing supports blood flow, hormone balance, and energy throughout the day. For men over 50, this becomes especially important because the body's natural thirst signals aren't as strong as they were in younger years, meaning you can become dehydrated without even noticing that hidden dehydration can directly affect the quality and duration of your erections. One of the best times to drink water is right after waking up. Overnight, your body loses fluids through breathing and sweating, and you go several hours without drinking. This morning, dehydration can cause thicker blood, sluggish circulation, and reduced nitric oxide activity, all of which make it harder for erections to occur. By starting your day with a glass or two of water, you immediately restore circulation, rehydrate your tissues, and set your body up for better energy and performance throughout the day. Many men also report that morning hydration improves their mental clarity and mood, both of which are critical for sexual arousal. Another key timing strategy is to sip water consistently during the day instead of waiting until you feel very thirsty. When you let yourself get to the point of strong thirst, your body is already in a mild state of dehydration. This increases cortisol, raises blood pressure, and constricts blood vessels, none of which are supportive for erections. By keeping a water bottle with you and sipping regularly, you ensure that your blood volume remains stable and that your body always has enough fluid to maintain vascular flexibility. This matters a lot for penile blood vessels, which are much smaller than the arteries that go to your brain or heart. Even slight dehydration will be felt more intensely in these smaller vessels. Timing also matters when it comes to meals. Drinking a moderate amount of water 20 to 30 minutes before eating can support digestion, regulate appetite, and prevent post-meal sluggishness that might otherwise sap your energy. However, drinking excessive water during meals can sometimes dilute stomach acid and slow digestion, which may leave you feeling bloated or heavy, both of which can dampen sexual energy. The goal is balance. Hydrate before meals, sip lightly with food, and then continue to hydrate after digestion is complete. This rhythm keeps your energy stable and helps regulate insulin which in turn supports testosterone production. Evening hydration is another area where timing is crucial. Many men, especially those over 50, avoid drinking water later in the day because they don't want to wake up at night to use the bathroom. While this is understandable, avoiding hydration entirely in the evening can backfire. Going to bed dehydrated reduces blood circulation, affects sleep quality, and raises the risk of nighttime blood pressure spikes, all of which negatively affect erectile health. The solution is to drink enough water earlier in the evening, about one to two hours before bed bed so that your body has time to process the fluids without disrupting your sleep. This ensures your body remains hydrated overnight, which is particularly important because erections naturally occur during sleep as part of healthy sexual function. Finally, hydration should be timed around sexual activity itself. Drinking a small to moderate amount of water 30 to 60 minutes before intimacy can enhance blood circulation and energy, making it easier to achieve and sustain erections. Just avoid overhydrating right before as feeling bloated or needing to urinate can become distracting. The key idea is to treat water like a performance enhancer. Steady intake throughout the day, targeted hydration before moments of peak activity, and mind mindful timing that supports your body's natural rhythms. When people think of hydration, they usually imagine plain water. While water is essential, drinking it alone isn't always enough to optimize your body for erections, especially for men over 50. That's because true hydration is about balance, and electrolytes, minerals like sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium are just as important as the water itself. These electrolytes regulate how fluid moves in and out of cells, how nerves fire, and how muscles contract. For erections, that matters a lot, because the penis is a highly vascular organ with smooth muscle tissue that must relax and fill with blood without proper electrolyte balance, that process becomes inefficient or even impaired. 
Sodium is often misunderstood. Many men are told to cut sodium for heart health, and while excessive sodium can indeed raise blood pressure, too little sodium can also be harmful. Sodium helps regulate blood volume and pressure, ensuring that enough blood reaches your extremities, including the penis. If sodium levels drop too low due to overhydration or a restrictive diet, you may experience fatigue, muscle weakness, or even lower blood pressure, which can all impact erection quality. The goal isn't to eliminate sodium, but to maintain a healthy balance by avoiding processed high salt foods and instead getting sodium from natural sources in moderation. Potassium is another critical electrolyte for sexual health. It works hand in hand with sodium to maintain blood pressure and vascular tone. Potassium helps relax blood vessels, which improves circulation and reduces the workload on the heart. For men over 50 who are more likely to deal with hypertension, this relaxation effect can directly improve erectile quality. Foods like bananas, spinach, avocados, and sweet potatoes are excellent sources of potassium, and when combined with proper hydration, they help keep your vascular system responsive and flexible. Magnesium is often overlooked, yet it plays a vital role in nitric oxide production, the same molecule responsible for dilating blood vessels during an erection. Without adequate magnesium, your body struggles to produce enough nitric oxide, which makes erections weaker or harder to sustain. Magnesium also calms the nervous system, reducing stress and cortisol levels, which otherwise compete with testosterone and hinder sexual performance. For men over 50, magnesium intake is especially important because age changes in digestion and diet often lead to deficiencies. Incorporating magnesium rich foods like nuts, seeds, leafy greens, or even supplements when appropriate can restore balance and improve erectile function. Calcium rounds out the group by helping muscles, including the smooth muscle tissue in the penis, contract and relax effectively. This mineral, together with magnesium, ensures the rhythmic vascular responses that are necessary for sexual arousal. An imbalance here can create muscle spasms, cramps, or poor vascular tone, all of which reduce performance. It's also worth noting that drinking excessive amounts of plain water without electrolytes can actually dilute your body's mineral balance, a condition called hyponatremia. While this is rare, it highlights why balance matters. Hydration should come not just from water, but also from nutrient-rich foods and, when needed, electrolyte-containing beverages. For men who sweat a lot through exercise or live in hot climates, replacing lost electrolytes becomes even more important as dehydration plus electrolyte imbalance is a double hit to sexual performance. Delayed ingredients make the sweat to sour beer and other pumpkin acidic beer a concern. Ultimately, water provides the medium, but electrolytes provide the function. They ensure that every nerve impulse, every vascular expansion, and every muscle response involved in an erection works in harmony. Without this balance, drinking more water won't be enough, and that's why men over 50 should think of hydration as a complete system, water plus minerals working together to support circulation, hormone function, and sexual vitality. The timing of hydration doesn't just affect your energy or digestion, it also influences how your body performs sexually, particularly when it comes to erections. Men over 50 often overlook how morning and evening hydration patterns set the tone for circulation, hormone balance, and even sleep quality, all of which play a huge role in erectile function. Understanding when to hydrate can give you an advantage in supporting both daily vitality and nighttime recovery. Morning hydration is absolutely crucial. During sleep, your body loses water through breathing, sweating, and metabolic activity. By the time you wake up, you're mildly dehydrated. Even if you don't feel thirsty, this state can thicken the blood, slow down circulation, and raise cortisol levels, all of which make it harder for your vascular system to respond quickly when needed. A simple habit of drinking one or two glasses of water first thing in the morning immediately replenishes blood volume, improves circulation, and lowers morning cortisol spikes. This not only supports overall energy and mood, but also enhances your body's readiness for stronger erections later in the day. Morning hydration also plays a role in hormone activity. Testosterone, the hormone most directly tied to sexual function, peaks in the early hours of the morning. If you're dehydrated, your body struggles to maintain this peak, and that can weaken both libido and erectile quality. By hydrating as soon as you wake up, you give your body the fluid support it needs to maximize testosterone activity during its natural high point. For many men, this can make a real difference in sustaining morning erections and overall sexual performance. 
Evening hydration requires a different strategy. Many men cut back on fluids in the evening to avoid waking up at night to urinate, especially since nighttime bathroom trips become more common after 50 due to changes in the prostate and bladder. While it's true that drinking large amounts right before bed can disrupt sleep, avoiding fluids entirely in the evening can be just as harmful. Going to sleep dehydrated reduces circulation, affects blood pressure regulation, and can even interfere with the natural nighttime erections that keep penile tissue healthy. The solution is to hydrate strategically in the evening. About one to two hours before bedtime, drink a moderate amount of water, enough to keep you hydrated through the night, but early enough that your body has time to process it before sleep. Pairing this with electrolyte-rich foods or a small evening snack like fruit can also help maintain fluid balance overnight. This approach supports healthy blood flow during sleep, which is important because the body uses nighttime hours to repair tissues, regulate hormones, and cycle through natural erectile events. These erections aren't just a sign of sexual health. They're a necessary function that keeps penile tissue oxygenated and responsive. There's also a connection between hydration, sleep quality, and erectile health. Dehydration raises cortisol and can interfere with melatonin, the hormone that regulates sleep cycles. Poor sleep, in turn, lowers testosterone and raises stress levels, creating a negative loop that impacts sexual performance. By managing hydration carefully in the evening, avoiding extremes of too much or too little, you support deeper more restorative sleep, which is one of the most underrated factors in maintaining erectile strength after 50. When you think about hydration in terms of rhythm, morning intake to activate circulation and hormones, steady hydration throughout the day, and mindful evening intake to support sleep, you create the ideal environment for both daily energy and long-term sexual health. This balance ensures that erections are supported not just in the moment, but as part of your body's overall daily cycle.